So I didn't sarmoli anyone, I didn't break the rules or anything. So I didn't sarmoli anyone. 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 Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Alrighty then, sub everyone, it's your disgusting Kingdom Hearts Wii Blue Axe here, and welcome back to another video. So today, we're going to be talking about Kimbo once again. Why you may ask? Well, his four other channels, including his main one, has finally been terminated by YouTube. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because Kimbo here has been broken several YouTube's community guidelines. More specifically, the harassment and cyberbullying policy. And do you want to know what is labeled as cyberbullying? You heard that correctly. Doxing. Mainly, he doxed Spanish Giovanni and also other content creators as well because her der they've been cyberbullying me constantly please help me but in reality he's no different himself so today we're going to be check out his video titled don't believe any hate comment thrown at me on my videos Hey uh, before we respond to his video, let's check out his video description first, because you know it's going to be delicious. If you see any slander comments in any of my videos, please ignore them. It's just some cyber bullies who are trying to make me look bad. Don't believe any of the contacts within the comments. Please report them and let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, are you in your 20s? How the fuck are you still on the platform for almost 10 fucking years and still label it as cyberbullying? Hell, even satire jokes that Spanish Giovanni made on you is satire and you still label it as cyberbullying. I will be willing to bet $500 in cash within next year on April Fool's Day that someone made an April Fool's video on Kimbo, Kimbo will still label it as cyberbullying. I will fucking bet money on that. I will fucking bet it. Because I am guarantee you, he will still label it as cyberbullying. It doesn't matter if it's a joke, or is a criticism, or anything. He will still label it as cyberbullying. I can guarantee you. Enough joking around, let's get back to the video. Which we all know that was a pussy tactic made by Kimbo because boo hoo, criticism hurts his fifis. So without further ado, let's start. I can't believe I'm making a video, but. I can't believe we even made a third video on you, Kimbo. Well, you know what they say. Third times the charm. Due to some issues that are going on uh, on my channel, uh, I'm dropping the video. Uh, so there, I have been uh, under some attacks uh, by some uh, YouTubers. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there. You are not being attacked by anything. You're just receiving constructive criticism. No big deal, right? Again, Kimbo, how are they cyberbullying you? Because are you a cyberbully yourself? Because you kept calling everyone else cyberbully because your insecurities about yourself? Is that why you have a Russian hacker friend? To help you dock Spanish Giovanni? 
You should really, I don't know, eat that same energy. And they spam attack me uh, at once, and uh, they are laughing about it, and uh, they claim that I broke it. It's a violation when uh, one person um, sent an attack at me, and the second person also sent an attack at me, and the third person also sent an attack at me. Alrighty, Kimbo, I know you're kind of stupid enough to twist your own words to the point the fabric of reality has split in a pod. But let me give you some facts intel. You have violated YouTube's community guidelines multiple times. More specifically, the harassment and cyberbullying policy, which is a big no no, Kimbo. It's a big no no. You have doxxed innocent content creators. You dox Cosmic, you dox Benny, you even dox Flutterreel. Hell, you even dox Spanish Giovanni about where he works. I have seen Spanish Giovanni's video he made about you, Kimbo. Yeah, it doesn't look good for you now, does it? Kinda sad, really. I was going to tell him to edit out your long pauses, but then again, we're dealing with Kimbo here. He's the one who labels every criticism as cyberbullying or harassment. I don't know if anyone told you this, Kimbo. Not everything on the internet is always sunshine and rainbows. You are going to receive negative comments at one point. Hell, I receive negative comments sometimes on my videos too. But you don't hear me bitching about it like a literal pansy. Like, it's a dog eat dog world on the internet, dude. You're always going to receive negative comments or some critiques or some feedbacks. But then again, you're too much of a pussy to understand that. And you're in your 20s. This is embarrassing. Learn to take it like an adult. Holy fuck. So, uh, since, uh, it was, like, multiple people talking me at once... <laughs> <laughs> you serious? Dude, what on earth are you talking about? There's more concrete proof of you trying to duck other users on YouTube, and I was like, are you trying to play dumb right now? Because if you are, that is the most dumbest bullshit you can ever come up with. Are you, now you're trying to say, oh, oh, I did not do such things. But in reality, you have done these things, Kimbo. There are screenshots of you doing this. There are video clips of you doing this. You said and do that is completely stupid. Like, have you ever heard the term web capture or screen capture? It works wonders. He doesn't understood the concept. Well, of course he never did, because he would pour on his phone all the damn time. Yeah. Just like your content, you're garbage. Of course, YouTube would believe that I supposedly did something wrong, I don't know. I mean, no shit, Sherlock, I could have just told you the same thing. But as we continue further, that's not the case. Because he's just going to double down. That's all how my uh, spore of my YouTube uh, channel suddenly just disappeared in the thin air and uh, when I just woke up and... Uh, Disappear out of nowhere? Bro, your main channel was terminated due to the fact that you have been doxing people, which is against YouTube's community guidelines. More specifically, the cyberbully or harassment policy here on YouTube. Creator A is angry after a heated exchange with Creator B and decides to share Creator B's personal home address and private phone number in a video that encourages viewers to send nasty messages to Creator B. In another video, a creator wants fans to communicate with them directly via social media, so they share their social media handles and email address on their channel. Do either of these videos violate our community guidelines? Yes. The first video violates our harassment policy, 
Don't use YouTube to maliciously share personal information about another individual. That unlisted video will be in the link in the description if you want more details about that policy. Tuesday afternoon, I'm like, what's going on here? Something ain't right. Well, you heard it him, folks. Straight from the source. Oh my, something is definitely wrong. Even though you have been doxing multiple people on this platform, which justify your main channel's termination. God, this shit reminds me of that said individual I had to deal with back in last year in June. However, I can't do that anymore because that said person will have to call another person to call the authorities against my goddamn ass simply because I called them out for their bullshit for doxing one of my friends! No, I'm not gonna let that go! So I did not uh, do any cyberbullying, or I did not commit any crimes, it was just the cyberbullies that attacked my subscribing channel, my latest media, vlogs channel, my Firebird channel, which is also my other vlog channel. You're a liar! You're a liar! You know something that you're not telling us, you slimy scumbag liar! Kimbo, you lying sack of undead fetus! Don't you dare start pulling more bullshit lies out of your goddamn ass! You know full fucking well, you knew, knew that you dox people just because they hurt your precious little fifis! You have dox, I repeat! You ducks to Kazam, Cosmic, Spanish Giovanni, mostly Spanish Giovanni, mind you. Yes, I should know. I was Spanish Giovanni's recent stream on Kimbo. God damn. He has more concrete proof of you doxing him by hiring a Russian hacker friend. Again, if you want to see Spanish Giovanni's video on Kimbo, you will check out the original video link, will be in the link description. Now before I continue responding to his video, have you ever guys noticed that he always look up in the ceiling wherever he start talking? Now I know why he does that, so it's not just unnecessary long pauses, he was just trying to cut more lies, so he can spew more. <gasps> My mind has now been blown. Kimbo, nobody really fucking cares about your TikTok. Who gives a fuck? That's not more important for the fact that you dox people, you literal scumbag. So I didn't cyberbully anyone, I didn't break the rules or anything, I didn't copy anyone's uh, video for permission, I did not uh, share sexual content. True, you never make sexual content on your main channel. Good on you. That's one step in the right direction. But we're not here about it right now, because you have committed other crimes, such as doxing, spreading misinformation, and slandering people. May I go on? Those are the only three crimes you have committed so far. I'm surprised you have not been behind bars yet. And what do you mean by cyberbullies? You mean critics? Good to know that you label crit critiques as cyberbullies. Good on ya for being such a pussy. So what? You never made bloody and gory content on your main channel. But guess what, Kimbo? It doesn't matter. Because the facts still remain. Because again, Kimbo, I repeat. You have committed other crimes, and I know I'm repeating myself multiple times since Kimbo is too stupid to remember. You, sir, have committed doxing, spreading misinformation, slandering people, 
because you are a oversensitive cunt. Or you do know what the hell you are doing. You just don't want to admit to it because you like being a scumbag little locale that seeks off attention, regardless if it's positive or negative. And you're a filthy attention whore. And you love it. You love the fact that you get attention offline because you're a sad little loser who had committed a crime just to seek attention. Like a pathetic little cunt that you are. And I'm not sorry for that. Because you deserve it. None of the other like uh, rules that I did not break any of those. I did not break any COPPA rules. Holy crap, you're stupid. Kimbo, I think the term you're looking for was TOS, which is short for Terms of Service. How fucking brain dead do you have to be that you can't even remember what these sets of rules are? Like, bro, are you high? Are you high as a motherfucking kite? Holy crap, I've just lost so many brain cells in each passing second. Holy fuck. And I am very uh, picky about uh, CPPA rules now. CCPPA rules? What? Do you even hear yourself talking, Bo? What, what rules are you talking about? All I see is TOS, community guidelines, that's it. Where is the CCPP? What? I am so sorry for the technical difficulties, folks. The amount of victim mentality of this man child was astounding to me. I was flabbergasted. Disbelief at his finest. Holy fuck, the amount of excuses that he gave out is so stupid that my brain just cannot comprehend nor compute. He is literally insane. That's just insane, bro. But let's just respond to one more segment of this video because unfortunately, I just can't deal with his stupidity. Uh, if uh, kids, uh, they want to be in my video, I have to go talk to their parents about it and uh... I had the situation uh, just several years ago where a kid wanted to be in my YouTube video and uh, I, we had to go uh, find his mom and and she said okay and uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to press X to doubt on that bullshit. Not after you defended literal PP such as both Brandon and Gregory Hall. Yeah, I find your story very hard to believe. Unfortunately, I think that will be enough. If you guys think I'm taking his words out of context, his original video will be in link, link in the description so you can watch it yourself, so that way you can draw to your own conclusions. But do not harass him on any circumstances, and do not cyberbully him either. Okay? Okay, good, good. I believe that'll be enough. If you enjoyed this video, if you do, give a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, follow me on social media, and hit the notification bells for my future videos. So tomorrow, I will be returning my YouTube War Finale Part 3 against Brandon. So yes, tomorrow night, we will start the premiere of the YouTube War Finale Part 3 which will be the final video on Brandon, by the way. Oh, and in case you were wondering, Blue X, what the fuck do you mean earlier in the video that he made another video? What the fuck do you mean by that? Has he made a video on your ass before? Well, yes, yes he did. But however, I will let that video slide because number one, it was kind of pointless for me to talk about him using my real name because, spoiler alert, I did leak it. However, not my middle name though, just saying. So it's not really much of an issue for me if he uses my, my first and last name. If you check my older content, 
you know. But yeah, I will be saving that video that he made against my ass once I reach 500 subs as part of my 500 sub special. I don't know when I'll reach that milestone, but hey, we'll reach that bridge when we get there. So yeah, that'll be all fam. Take care.